Well, the lights are flashing and the smell of fried dough is in the air. It is the first night of the 99th annual Champlain Valley Fair. We are there to cover all of the scenes and sights, all of the above. Local 44's Dana Casulo is live in Essex Junction on night one. Hi, Dana, what's going on right now? Hi, Lauren. The Ferris wheel is all lit up. There's music playing in the background. The food still smells really good. I actually had a maple creamy right before this, and people look so happy. And I spoke to a few before, and they told me how they felt about the fair being back. The gates are open. The 10 best days of summer are back at the Champlain Valley Fair, and people are thrilled. It's really like lifting our spirits, I'd say. One woman is excited to experience it with her grandson. And through his eyes, I am getting a wonderful, wonderful experience myself. He is only four years old. I am a kid at heart, and this is just so much fun. It really is in so many ways. Um, it's wonderful to look around and see everybody having a, a good time. And some children are excited to see the animals. Um, a pig. And you can't forget the cows. Mostly cut, cuddly, so you can cuddle with them for hours and they won't mind. Jeff Bartley is a marketing director at the Champlain Valley Expo. He says it's great to be back in business. Bring an appetite. <laughs> Get ready for some thrills. This year, there are nearly 40 rides and 70 food vendors. It's a lot of the same uh, with the rides and the food, but we do welcome uh, the what is it? The Hungry Bakery um, is here, and also Mark Barbecue, which is a huge staple here in Essex Junction. But for one child, he just has one thing in mind. Mostly just ice cream. The fair closes at midnight, and it will open back up tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Reporting live in Essex Junction, Dana Casulo, Local 44 News.